Improved cardiovascular health. How the f would you claim that? Improved cardiovascular health. You have 500 milligrams of caffeine. I don't ever recall that being cardiovascularly helpful. 100 milligrams of the most aggressive stimulant known to man in the pre-workout industry with exception of the methamphetamine analog that was in craze back in the day. And five milligrams of a HBTA suppressive SARM. And you are claiming that this is going to help my heart. So guys, Derek from PlayTornadates.com. Today we're gonna to be following up on the last post where we talked about the lethal dose 50 pre-workout with the fucking venomous snake on the front with SARMs in it, with DMAA, with GW501516, with undisclosed dosages of fucking everything in a very sketchy prop blend containing undisclosed amounts of ridiculous stimulants, SARMs, fucking PPAR delta modulators, etc. And in the comments, you know, people just shitting on it. And we went to the product page and kind of dug into the description. The exact lethal dose of any object is difficult to determine, but with the ideal combination of ingredients needed for a specific purpose, excellent results are achieved. Lethal dose 50 is the, <laughs> is the best in the industry to help you quickly achieve the body you want, giving you definition never seen before. So we know this contains undisclosed amounts of Austrian, which is a SARM, and GW501516, which is a PPAR Delta agonist, which is, you know, commonly lumped into the realm of SARMs, but is basically a research chemical that was shelved for its carcinogenic activity in rodents at a dosage that is very, very close to what would otherwise be used in a performance enhancing context by, you know, bodybuilders, people who play sports, <laughs> fucking athletes, whatever. Um, and Osterine, you know, again, we don't know the dosages of any of this shit. And the fact that it's even in a supplement to begin with as a, a pre-workout supplement, as well as it being undisclosed dosages, in something you're not gonna be taking on an everyday basis, you're gonna be like sporadically taking, even though a SARM is something that is not providing acute performance outcomes. It works through like background anabolic activity through muscle protein synthesis via the androgen receptor does not have significant like androgenic you know psychoactive effects in the brain that are going to help you you know lock in in the fucking gym and snap weights up like anadrol this is something that is going to be a very very benign anabolic and not going to result in significant enhancement and like instant strength gains so having this in a pre-workout that you're not you're going to take like a couple a few times a week maybe at most because otherwise you're going to get desensitized as fuck to it with however much dma is in here does it make any sense? Like, no. And the fact that, you know, that's just even reading into it above and beyond the fact that you're having a testosterone suppressive fucking SARM at a undisclosed dosage in a prop blend in a fucking pre-workout that's probably marketed to, you know, people looking for pre-workouts, not people looking for SARMs. So it was pretty fucked up, obviously. And then I started to, uh, I started to find some other threads and other examples of the same thing. And it's kind of wild that this was seen as a good idea by multiple companies. Here's another version of a SARM or another pre-workout, I should say, the best pre-workout I've tried, apparently, by Elvin Legit. Now, I'm pretty sure he's just saying this to be, uh, well, actually, maybe it was for him because it's fucking 100 milligrams of DMA in it, which is literally, fuck, dude, 500 milligrams of caffeine, and 50 milligrams hygienamine. This is a stim fiend dream right here. Fucking unreal. And at the bottom, though, you have five milligrams of fucking Osterine. God damn, 100 milligrams of DMA, like the high end that I've ever taken is 75 milligrams via the OG like Dust Extreme. Fuck, like these kind of products, they're so tailored towards stim junkies. They just, they know that the product is gonna be like, these stim junkies are so, f all they care about is getting their brain fucking tweaking. They don't even have to bother putting in like efficacious dosages of anything because they know that's not why anyone's buying it. There's no fucking citrulline needed. Oh, 2000 milligram citrulline malate. Congratulations. You have like fucking what? Like 1500 milligrams of citrulline in there or 1333 or some shit with uh, a little bit of malic acid. You have a bit of niacin. You have a gram of tyrosine, um, some vitamin C, of course, beta alanine, itchy butthole, agmatine sulfate, 500 migs. But mainly we have 50 migs hygienamine. 500 megs caffeine, half a fucking gram of caffeine, bro. And 100 milligrams of DMA. This is like fucking horse lethal dosage territory. If that made any fucking sense. It's like lethal for a fucking huge motherfucker. 
Um, and then Austrian, because it, you know, a pre-workout is not complete without a testosterone HPTA suppressive compound in there that you're only going to be taking a few days a week for the non-acute performance enhancing benefits, of course. So this guy, this is a Patriot ultra intense muscle strength, extreme energy. Yeah, I bet fucking extreme energy. SARMS based pre-workout world's first SARMS based pre-workout extreme pre-workout plus testosterone endurance and power. Great flavor system, 60 servings. Fuck, um, let's see, never seen a pre that requires a PCT. No pain, no gain, buddy, PCT. Honestly, with the DMA, Austrian, and other exotic stims, it feels so pointless to sprinkle in two grams of citrulline malate and the other food-like ingredients like doing coke cut up with a Kool-Aid powder. Exactly, like do you think anyone, it's like almost trying to disguise this fucking coke as like, this is actually a pre-workout. It's like, bro, like, don't kid yourself. This is fucking DMAA flavored hygienamine, caffeine, and DMAA and Austrian. Like the dosage of Austrian is not gonna be that, you know, enhancing, but it's like, fuck. Trying to differentiate themselves like as illegally as possible. Um, let's see what else is in the hair. I agree. I want to see other people's opinion on it. I'm not an expert in supplements. I just try, like trying new stuff and see how it works. I only bought it because the SARMs caught my eye. Austrian for the gains, bro. Just ordered some, gonna be wired. Yeah, just a bit, bro. Fucking Austrian, crazy world we live in. SARMs based pre-workout, now I've seen it all. That's like saying, Coke is the best pre-workout. Might as well try snorting it. I would make it like 10 minutes before needing to chain smoke cigarettes and talk about my feelings. At least Coke or Adderall wouldn't mess up your hormones. <laughs> Holy caffeine content, Batman, LMAO. Bro, Derek has got to talk about this pre, huh? Hell yeah, fucking raising hands emoji. Um, can you record a video of you counting to 10 without blinking on this? I have a pre with the main ingredients being 100 milligrams DMAA and 30, 350 milligrams caffeine and hydrous, and you don't need to blink like for minutes. It's actually real. What the fuck? Let's see what the, uh, what they thought it was fake. Uh, let's see what it is. Muscle body, Patriot Extreme pre workout. Fucking 30 servings in bloody orange. Bloody orange, dude. Patriot Extreme Pre-Workout is a unique pre-workout that combines the power of stimulants with the powerful effects of a SARM, selective androgen receptor modul modulators. Accordingly, the modern and innovative formula includes particularly powerful ingredients, including Austrian, DMAA, agmatine sulfate, niacin, and citrulline malate. <laughs> it's like, how can that even be put in the same fucking sentence? Patriot Extreme Pre-Workout can provide you with tremendous muscle pumps, increased strength, and HPTA suppression and endurance, laser focus, as well as an immense <laughs> increase in your fat burning. The great advantage of the pre-workout supplement is the extremely powerful energy boost from all the stimulants it contains. Patriot Extreme Pre-Workout gives you incredible focus for training at the highest level. SARM MK2866, also known as Austrian. Patriot Extreme Pre-Workout benefits at a glance. Hardcore Booster combines DMAA with MK2866, Austrian. Provide you with tremendous and long lasting energy, extreme increase in strength and endurance, razor sharp focus, and increased concentration. Yeah, I would say some razor sharp fucking coke head concentration. Muscle pump effect and bulging muscles. I would be shocked. Well, I guess maybe the Austrian might help a bit, but like how much vasoconstriction are you gonna have from the fucking hygienamine, the fucking caffeine, the DMAA, that you're gonna get a pump out of the two grams of citrulline malate? Like, is that actually gonna be useful? You think you're gonna get a pump out of this or it's gonna be hindering your pump? Improved cardiovascular health. How the fucking shit would you claim that? Improved cardiovascular health. You have 500 milligrams of caffeine. I don't ever recall that being cardiovascularly helpful. 100 milligrams of the most aggressive fucking stimulant known to man in the pre-workout industry with exception of the methamphetamine analog that was in craze back in the day. And five milligrams of a HBTA suppressive SARM. And you are claiming that this is going to help my fucking heart, the gall of this goddamn company. Increased fat loss, supports the immune system. I don't know how the fuck you came to that, but okay. Order the SARM DMAA supplement Patriot online now, suggested use. Mix one serving with water, take 30 minutes before your workout. Fuck. <laughs> oh man, so anyway, obviously this thread is just fucking dis destroying this thing because it's just stupid. Um, what else does it say? Like fucking no dude, bro, this is fucking stupid. If you aren't running tests, if you are, then it's still kind of dumb because that is an absurd amount of stims. In one dose, your fucking blood pressure is going to go off the chart on this. No, bro. It's actually, it actually helps your cardiovascular system, didn't you know? That's one of the benefits. Um, wait, Myo TKO has almost the exact same formula. It even says number one SARMS-based pre-workout as well. Gee, anyone surprised at a country where the average working person makes around $17,000 $17, 
US and has a rampant piracy problem with rip something off from the Western world. What the fuck? SARMs, hold the fuck up, bro. Pretty dumb to be honest, like the old pro hormone pre-workouts from 10 years ago. That little amount of Asta will have no benefit at all, but will still probably cause some suppression. You're supposed to take Asta every day, but taking a high stem pre every day isn't smart either, unless you like high blood pressure and headaches when you don't take it. Plus anything that puts only two grams of citrulline malate isn't worth taking. You're much better off taking a normal pre with high doses of pump ingredients, lower doses of stems and Austrian separately. Like you might as well be fucking taking flavored DMAA plus caffeine. Like that's basically what this is. And if you want to take a SARM, like get it fucking separately, be able to manipulate your dosages based on, you know, like I guess not that this company deserves kudos at all, but at least compared to the other company, had a fucking prop blend with Austrian in it. With DMAA, a prop blend, you don't even know how much is in here. It could be fucking 300 milligrams, could be 20, could be whatever. So obviously this is sketchier, the fucking LD50, like we're gonna kill you pre-workout, kills half the population, versus this one that at least says, this is what you're getting in it. Although it's like ridiculously fucked up, you know, those are just compounds. It's like, at least it shows you what it is. Um, let's see, should be fun if you're on cycle. Have you tried rectal administration? It's dog shit. Buy mode and buy Austrian separately. Oh, an itchy butthole. This is like if sleepy time had Valium and muscle relaxers in it. Honestly though, it feels like kind of pointless gimmick. You either build up tolerance to the DMA and other stems where you're forced to take these off from Asta, which is suboptimal. Though it's at such a low dose that it might actually not be enough to cause suppression. I don't know, dude. Seems like a niche product to me. I don't know either. We'll see. It caught my eye. And I was like, fuck it. Let's buy. Yeah, good idea, bro. Imagine shutting yourself down from a pre-workout. Damn. Is that the lean, mean, green, lean, mean, skinny, teen, dream, beam, heart attack supreme? Edit. Jokes aside, you're retarded for taking this. I just spit on my own fucking arm. But to each is their own. If Derek sees this. <laughs> oh, you're clever, bro. What the fuck is this? What the fuck am I looking at? It's like a tiny prince and a princess with a key, with a fucking full bubble bath, with a shopping cart. Dude, you pick some hard ones. I don't know what the fuck this is. It's like a umbrella. I like can't even see it. Razor, teddy bear, toothbrush. You've got mail, Chinese symbol. I don't know, another Chinese symbol. Don't use your phone, question mark, mustache, plus sign. This is uh, patent, uh, might be. <laughs> I think it's either patent or trademark, I forget. Slot machine, bowling. Bro, bro, that is a great way to waste Austrian. Take it only in training days. Get the fuck out. One three DMAA alone will make it better than anything not containing that. Shame that's so hard. This is like the problem with like stim junkies. They'll be like, you know, any pre that doesn't contain 500 milligrams of caffeine, isopropyl norepinephrine, Raul sign, something that makes them literally like sweat, feeling like they're fucking hypoglycemic from the amount of stims they're on is bad, you know? If you don't have half a gram of caffeine, DMAA, DMA or DMHA, or fucking isopropyl, or theophylline, or fucking alpha johimbine, <laughs> or any of the other absurd shit, then it's bad, you know? It has nothing to do with the other stuff. Who cares about the shit that actually helps fucking, you know, muscle contractions, intramuscular fullness, hyperhydration. What gives me the most psychoactive crackhead feeling possible? And if it's not the max out one where my goddamn stimmed out, fried, excuse of a brain, no, <laughs> I'm just like going on a tangent, can handle it and feel something, then it sucks. Legit thought this was a joke. Reliable out of 10. Did you boof it? Would love Derek's opinion on it. Well, you're getting it. Literally, what's the point of sprinkling beta alanine in there? You'll fucking die from the caffeine and DMA content before you get half the efficacious dose. Fucking no, dude, for the butthole tingles. Bruh, how's this shit not been clapped by the FDA? Bro, what the hell is this? Gotta be placebo. So anyway, I pulled up the other pre-workout actually. Somebody mentioned the Myo, where is it? Um, Myo TKO. I don't know where it was, but there was, oh yeah, wait, Myo TKO is almost the exact same formula. So I pulled that one up too, and that one looks pretty similar. Yeah, so we have Myo TKO, total knockout. It'll fuck you up, bro. Number one, or first world, ba ba what the fuck, first, World's first SARMS based pre-workout. Okay, so which one of you guys did it first? Actually, was it the Patriot? Um, or was it the, uh, was it this company? Or the same company? I don't really know. Um, ultra intense muscle strength, extreme energy, endurance and power, more energy than ever before. If you didn't already get that from extreme energy, we had to let you know again, there's actually more energy than ever before. You thought extreme was good enough, it's not good enough, there's more. No crash and no jitters. Yeah, fucking right, bro. You have 75 milligrams. Okay, this is actually a different formula. But still, so it's not, it's not 100, it's 75. But still half a gram of caffeine, still the 50 milligrams of hygienamine. This is basically the same thing. 
This is basically the same thing, yeah. So we have beta alanine, agmatine sulfate, hygienamine 50 mg, caffeine half a gram, 75 milligrams of DMAA, no crash. How likely is that? Citrulline malate, two grams, tyrosine, one gram, five milligrams of austrian, same shit. Intense pumps and vascularity, build lean muscle, incredible focus. Savage Line Labs, the first world, first SARMS based pre workout, the promises and delivers powerful energy increases due to the DMA, greater muscle gains and improved performance in the gym and on the sports field. Dude, imagine taking this before going to play like a fucking soccer game or like a basketball game or something, literally being on this cocktail because it has no crash, no jitters, and helps your cardiovascular health apparently and gives you ultra fucking energy. And then just like goddamn dying in the middle of a game. The ingredients list is very impressive. It contains beta alanine to increase exercise capacity and banish fatigue. <laughs> banish, as if we're like in medieval times. Fatigue will be gone. Banish it to the fucking netherworld. It also contains austrian L-citrulline and of course DMAA, just to name a few. Expect a great pump and a lot of energy. I would be fucking shocked if this helped your pump. Like if anything, I would think this would hinder your pump. Um, unlike other pre-workouts on the market that just load their products with heavy doses of caffeine. This goes beyond just caffeine. And we add cocaine plus caffeine, pretty much. Um, as well as HBTA suppressive SARMs. With those products, expect to crash and jitters the entire time, but not with our shit. <laughs> our shit, you'll die before you crash. Savage Line Labs and MyOTKO uses cutting edge ingredients. All the ingredients have shown to increase energy, endurance, and lean muscle mass. Why take a pre-workout that only gives you a boost of energy in a crash? Take a pre-workout that gives you clean cocaine intense energy and actually helps you build muscle at the same time and suppresses your fucking gonads. Exactly what we want. So anyways, I don't know why the fuck any company would do this other than you know trying to capitalize on being ballsy as hell, which I guess is gonna work for the people who are like that intense. You know, people who just want the most ridiculous shit and um, you know, aren't worried about their brains like not functioning correctly. I don't know. <laughs> That's this, like this shit is, uh, it's baffling. This is being sold still. So anyways, that is my uh, review of it. I'm not, uh, you know, a big fan. I would not recommend it. I do not think this is a good, uh, responsible formula. I think the combinations are absurd. I think the fact this is even marketed as a pre-workout is kind of insane when it's like, like you have a fucking SARM in there, bro. Like, what are you doing? That's it. Thank you guys for watching. Like subscribe. Check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplacemoredates. Facebook, Snapchat, bitch, you, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with. In the video description below, my TRT clinic. It's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Gorilla Mind. Nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas. I designed myself from scratch. Recommended lab tests and diagnostics through my clinic. As well as my uh, clothing that I'm associated with. It's just like the shirt I'm wearing and anything else I'm associated with. It is in the video description below. Help support the channel. Much appreciated when you guys check that stuff out. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.